Hello everyone and welcome back to Utaraware Rumono. The last episode was very intense. There was the fall of Kunikamun, Genjimaru's sacrifice, Kamyu turning out to have a dual personality that is the daughter of D? Still a little uncertain about that one, but I'm assuming that we'll get answers for that as we're trying to find out where she went. But I guess if there was one positive outcome, it's that there is finally peace between the nations. Not that that matters, because we're going to go kick a hornet's nest by tracking down D and trying to get Kamu back. Things always have to get worse before they get better. This seems to be the way things work. Well, let's get into it. Kamu. And that man. We still haven't been able to find any clues. Even the smallest bit of information would help. Uratori. I'm coming in. Uri, is she not here? Oh, no, she was just being very quiet. Hey, if you're here, at least say something. Uh, she has her thoughts preoccupied, and for good reason. Her sister is missing. Uri? Yeah, there's something I'd like to ask you. I think he might know. It's about Kamu. No. I want to know everything. How much do you know? I thought he made you the Oriyankuru. Ah, yes, that's right. Yes, that's why I'm asking you, the Oriyankuru. First, Kamu. What was that? Why was she like a completely different person? No, she was a completely different person. What happened to her? A different... No, Uratori mumbles and casts her eyes downward, avoiding eye contact. Hmm. Okay then. That man. Who is that man that calls himself D? It seemed like you knew him. D is やさしく明るくてどことなく無邪気でわざわざ。以前大きな地震があったのを覚えていますかその何日か前に突然姿を消してそのまま。He's not D. He's somebody wearing a D suit. An earthquake. Oh yeah, cuz our fight. That's right. ところで家の方はもう治ったのまったく突然揺れたと思ったら容赦なく人んちを倒して消えがってああ、I I bet that's what happened. Oh, this makes me sad. I miss them. They mentioned it back at the village. He disappeared, and when he showed up, he was like that, huh? 
ですが私が知っている D はあのような方ではありませんあのような What happened to D? D に何があったのかは分かりませんただお父様が一言見入られてしまったかと Literally, I thought it was just a metaphor. Possessed? What was he possessed by? <laughs> Uratori falls silent once again.、Hmm. You and Genji Maru both keep your mouths stubbornly shut, is that it? Yeah. So you. Wake de wa. You're really sisters, aren't you? Kamyu was also really bad at lying. Uri, please answer me. What was that? That beast like thing? <laughs> you said D was possessed by something, right? Is that the form of the thing that possessed him? What am I? I turn into the same beast as him. It's a demon! What? How can you say that? You've seen that thing, haven't you? After seeing me in that form, Kuya. So, you know what I am, then? Hmm. Okay, well, so much for my theory about them having to be bound to secrecy for some reason. Why do you know? Why can't you tell me? And also are the new Onkami Yaru. That's all she manages to say before she clams up. Genji Maru? What? Up. Hacked. Yep. Okay, so my theory was right. Okay. Both you and Genji Maru. No. I should say the Yonkami Yaryu tribe, shouldn't I? D and whatever possessed him made a pact with all of you? As I did with Ereru. I understand. Please, let me ask you one last thing. Where is Kamu? So you knew after all. It seemed that way from our conversation, but. Uratori completely avoids eye contact while saying that. I already told you, Uratori. You're a very bad liar. <laughs> Are you seriously asking me why? To bring Kamu back, of course. Yeah. Urutori looks at me with a sad expression. And shakes her head quietly. Yeah, that's probably true. That's not exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking more along the lines of it's because Yuzuha and Araru miss her, and the place isn't the same without her, but didn't see that part coming. I guess I should have. Lord? What do you mean? The entity at her side. Do you mean D? You can't say, huh? Then take me there. You should at least be able to do that. 
ご案内しますカミュのいる御神や向かいの深淵へ That sounds ominous. 御神や向かいの名の場所へ The place named Onkami Yamukai? Onkami Yamukai. The land where the Onkami sleeps. Sakuya, I'm coming in. Ah, Akuro Sama. How is Kuya? Hi. <laughs> Oh, good. I see. Ah! Uya, come here. Ah! Hola! I gently pat my lap. Uya rests her head. Aw. Kuya, Samantha, you're pretty so go to Kini Dinandes, ne? Kuya pats my legs. Come on, there's enough room on my lap for everybody. It sounds weird when I say it like that. I've got two legs. We can make it work. It's fine. Let's lie down together. Pat, pat, pat. Of course. Stroke, stroke. I gently stroke their heads. Stroke, stroke. Soon I hear both of them snoring quietly. Aw, good night. That's sweet. I take it this will be the last time we see them for a while. There are three knocks. Everyone's here, huh? Yeah, that's pretty much everybody at this point. Oh, I knew I was missing people. Wow, I feel bad. I haven't been using them in fights as often, though. I didn't know if they would be great against the Abukamus. Boro, we've been through this. We always go with a small team. I think the most we've ever been able to deploy is seven people. Maybe eight. No, I'm pretty sure it's seven. Yeah, the more of us there are, the harder it will be to move around. Only the best of the best should go. With honors. Yuzuha-sama, uh, this. Hmm? Akuro-sama. Yuzuha. Have you come to see us off? Yes. I mean, you wouldn't be able to do too much. There you go. Your good motivation for us to come back unscathed. And bring Kamu. I see. I put my hands on her shoulders. Yuzuha gently leans on me. Yuzuha? Yuzuha? I was going to say, of course, but I kind of feel like if there's this prompt, that that's debatable. You worry too much. I'll be fine. I promise to bring Kamu back. 
おまじないうんおまじないしてもいいですか A charm. Ah, that charm, so we'll meet again. Yeah, go ahead. I take a strand of my own hair. Yuzuha takes it from me and ties it around her pinky. Alright then. Yuzuha mo. She takes a few strands of her own hair, then twists them together and ties the strands around my pinky. Go sreba. Daijoub. Yuzuha. You're right. Everything will be okay now. Yeah. Let's go. Resolute. Gonna find her. We're gonna bring her home. I always forget how small that country is. I mean, compared to so many of the others that we've come across in this game, they are pretty tiny. This place is creepy. ここがオンカミヤムカイの装病ですか。ここが私初めて来ました。カミエチは。ここのどこに姫さんがいるんですか。はい。この先の西洋部に王族にしか知らされないリアークの門があります。Is that through the mirror? こちらに。I'm pretty sure that's through the mirror. That sounds questionable. Oh. I guess we're going to be fighting sooner than I was expecting. All right. Yeah, go ahead. You know they mean business when the wings go up. Ah! Her voice is reverberating directly in my head. Oh, that sounds terrible. This is more interactive than I was expecting. Ah. How long is this? Oh, thank God. That was getting really painful on the ears. <gasps> Didn't work? Oh, no, it worked. Hiraita. What is that? The wind. <laughs> Goro, always the straight shooter. I'm going in, but I'm going to do so mysteriously. This is a 
research facility? That's what it looks like. Oh, hi. Um? Well, good news. We found her. あなたが帰ってくるのを待っているのですよ。ね、神。私はカミュという存在ではないから、だから戻らない。You know, I kind of figured that was going to be the answer. 何を言っているのです。あなたはカミュ。私の妹のカミュです。What are you saying? Come, you... No. What do you know? Okay, well that's great. So can you explain it to us? Because the other people involved don't seem to be able to do so. Or are dead. You said that before, but what do you mean by other father? You know that's not going to happen. Continue. Huh? Is Kamu still there? If so, I can't withdraw. Huh. So I'm guessing she is still in there somewhere. Buried beneath the ultra powerful whatever she is. And she's gone. It was a distraction. Oh. It's old Kamu. 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 But is it really her, or is she just trying to manipulate us? About what? We have no choice but to advance. Her warning means that man is ahead. Probably not. Why are you hesitating? We can't let you go alone, Uri. そういうことですわね。一人で全てを背負おうとしないことですわ。Yep, exactly what I would expect from Carlao. あの子は私たちみんなの妹ではなくて。ああ。カルラ。さて、話が決まったとこで。そろそろ別のお客様がおいでになる頃ではなくて。うう。別のお客様。They know what's up. Ask them. Something? Uh... Alright. Something blobby. 
that goes oh it's a gelatinous cube run I mean they can't move but or can they oh I don't know what Hey. Oh, so you do know what this is. Ew. Oh, well, Blobby. Huh. That's a good question. They're pulsating, whatever they are. To turn into blobs? Oh, that's what they are. Okay. I was very confused because they didn't look what I would call fleshy. So... When you consider that they're supposed to be fleshy, that's actually extremely grotesque. Oh, so it is like a gelatinous cube. At least they don't move very fast. Ah, I see. In order to continue, we have to pass this door, right? Let's go. Stay close, everyone. So, don't touch the slimes. Primordial Dream, part one, on Kamiyamukai. All right, that's pretty straightforward. I don't think we have to change anything. Everybody's deployed. Oh, wow, that is actually the most I think we've ever had. So we've got all 11. Okay. Okay, well, they can be injured. That's a good sign. Okay, that scared me for a second. I was just thinking, oh, please do not tell me that they explode when they die. Ow. You slapped me. But otherwise, that wasn't as... Bad as I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but worse. Worse is what I was expecting. Creature is inside out, and it exploded. There we go. 99 flesh balloons. Ugh, why did I say that? Hmm. どびら、何ですかこれ。ここはそれがしに。いや。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。ふん。
about it? Good question. Never seen this CG before. Eru's hairpin is somehow responding. <sighs> She's the key we've needed this whole time. Hiraita. What is going on? That's been the question for like the past five or six episodes. And yet I feel like we'd never get any closer to figuring out the answer. I mean, I'm sure we are, that's just hyperbole, but still. I've seen this somewhere before. It is definitely a research facility. Ooh. <gasps> My head. Hmm. <clears throat> That's... Oh, more flesh blobs. Wah! It's... I'm gonna keep that as his reaction, but... It was a, a genuine reaction. Oh man, they came out of the cracks. They were hiding in here too? going to talk? Oh, no, doppelgangers. I hate doppelgangers. What? They... Which one's the real one? Tell they're evil because they have red eyes. Okay, doppelganger fight. Oh, I hope they're not as strong as we are because that's going to be a problem if they are. Let's find out. Are you as strong as we are? No, no, they are not. Okay. Who? <laughs> <laughs> that scared me for a minute. I was just thinking, oh no, if they're as strong as we are, we're gonna have problems. They're close though, with some of it. Fortunately, I pumped a lot more into attack. All right. <laughs> okay. Bye, Negatoka. Didn't help, though, did it? Eh, why not? As a matter of their days, though. Oh, I should have been having them attack themselves this whole time. That would have been the best way to do this. Oh well, it's alright. Head on. I guess I had nothing witty to say to myself. Three. Oh no, the lock of kick's been turned against me. Ooh, okay, that actually hurt. Gotta give him credit on that one. Well, that was interesting. I'm still here, sort of. Alright. 
の声なんだか泣いてるみたい死ぬこともできず未来永劫をさまよい続ける哀れですわね Yeah, that does sound like a miserable existence. なぜあのような姿に<笑> ?To pay for their sins. <笑>聖女、この辺りで一旦、陣を敷いては。Yeah, that's fine. 兄者、なんか覇気がないな。Not a lot of my mind. And not a lot of answers to the questions I've had. N- nothing's wrong. I'll leave it up to the rest of you. Don't. Just don't let your guard down. Oh. Oh. Probably smart because those flesh blobs like to pop out of cracks. Oop. Where are we going? <laughs> okay, hang on now. So, does this mean that this is way far in the future? Like, society. So, it's not an Iske kind of situation. It's a situation where this is the far, far future and things have kind of turned into a pseudo feudal esque situation, but with animal people. That's the implication I get from this. Place. I know. I know where we are. You might say it rings a bell. I. What's your name?、Mm? Shit. Does she not know what I'm saying? Ah.、Uh. San. Ro san. Are we trying to do a Pavlovian experiment or something? You know, ring the bell, salivate. Hakuro san. No, I was here just at a different time. N- no, it's. nothing. So this What was that just now? Hakuro san? Honto ni nandemo nine this ka? Guai, let us so this. I want to know what made that giant tear in the room. Uh, no, I'm fine. Just a little tired. Sorry, but could I have a cup of water? Huh? Past and the future, they're merging. Where did you get the water from? Water? Oh, right. Thanks. Who was that just now? Somewhere. I've seen her somewhere. Oh. Uh 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 oh. A hologram? Like from the X Men? Iceman? 
he cometh. Am I the Iceman? I am. Ooh, it's in color now. Ano, shokuji no jikan desu. Thanks, uh, number 3510. Hi. Hmm. Um, is there something else? It's hard to eat with you staring at me like that. Oh, sumimasen. Ano, nani ka yoji nai ka to omotte. I feel like the collar is an implication of something. Oh, that's the bell. Okay, now I get it. No, nothing in particular. Okay, hang on. So, are the animal folks part of... Were we genetic engineers and we were experimenting with different life forms? I... I probably should just play to figure out the answers. I'm just speculating at this point. No. Sorry, Mizushima. I've always had the mask. The mask has always been a part of me. Oh, well, thank you. Wait, were you the one that was talking to us at the archaeology thing? Oh, about that? Of course not. She's a great help. But why is her name just Numbers? It's hard to call her that. Decoys. Okay, now that's new. What? Huh, how unfair. Hmm. なっ得できない気持ちはわからなくもない。そうだ。よかったらその子に名前をつけてやってくれないか。え私がそんな泳ぐことはできないが、君がそう呼ぶのなら構わないだろう。あ、ネーム。では、私はこれで。素敵な名
There's a voice in my head? Who's there? Show yourself. That. Number 63. This voice. Are you talking to me? Uh, uh, can you lower your voice? It's echoing really loudly. Even though you won't show yourself, what do you want? A name? You want me to give you a name too? A number and a name, huh? Same as Mikoto. But for you just to talk to me out of nowhere and ask for a name, you could at least show yourself first, right? Ah! You can't move. What does that mean? You sound like a girl to me, but... Ah! Uh, okay, okay, I'll give you a name. Uh, 63, right? 63... 63... 63... Moon? Moon? Me? Uh... Okay, how about Moomy? It's a pretty nice name, if I do say so myself. Ah, ow, ah, ah, oh god. N no good, huh? Okay, uh, 63... Mutsu... Ah, 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 I wasn't done! Mutsu... me... Mutsumi? Hmm? Is Mutsumi okay? Alright, it's a pretty good name. Huh? What's that buzzing noise? Are the speakers broken? Wait a minute. Is that Kamu? It is Kamu, that's right, because her name is Mutsumi, that's right. Was that voice... Could it have been Mutsumi? Ah, okay. <laughs> no, nothing happened. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Mikoto. Hi? Isn't it tough being around me all day? Besides. Hmm? Do you like me? What's up with that? Now I want to know because you didn't finish talking. I don't know what this emotion is. I, is that so? Hmm? Mitsumi? Play. Even if you ask, I've run out of games. I don't really know any games we can play like this. First letter, last letter? We already played it so many times. Can you let me take a break from that game? Hmm. You're too good at Othello, Shogi, and chess. There's no point. Ah, is it that time already? I'll see you later. It's nothing. I told you, I have something to do. Ah, stop.
Stop. Uh, ano, watashi nanika. Uh, it's not you, Mikoto. Cut it out, Musumi. Don't be bad. It's nothing to cry over. Don't cry. I'll play with you soon. I'll think of a game later. Yeah, I promise. Father? Aww. Your guess is as good as mine. May I ask you something? Who is Mu... Number 63? Oh, I know something I'm not supposed to. It called me father. What does that mean? Okay. Hmm? Well, what? You say that a lot. Hmm. What did he mean by that, Mutsumi? You won't tell me? Or maybe she can't. Mutsumi? Uh, that escalated quickly. Hmm? Ah, that would explain why they call me Iceman. What do you... Why would you do that? So it's easier to study me as a meat popsicle? Ah. A sample? It's almost as if you're treating people like experiments. That's exactly what they're doing. <sighs> you don't mean... That was your intention from the start? The reason you revived me from the ice wasn't to help me, but to use me as material for your research? You acted like you saved me. You lied to me. I guess as long as we're on the same page? <sighs> Oh, that's terrible. So you just make these people and then dispose of them. Wow. Why are you trying to help me now? Had you stayed quiet, I never would have known. <sighs> That's exactly what they are, and they became the dominant species. I bet that's exactly what happened, so this is very much in the future. Wow. So, you're trying to atone for your sins, huh? Afraid? 
一番怖いのはねそれに慣れてしまうということそれまではあんなに苦痛と感じていたというのに徐々に罪の意識が麻痺していくそしていつかはそのことに何も感じなくなるのだろう、yep. That would happen. But what will happen to you? I don't think they'll let you off lightly if they find out about this. Do you want to run away with me? Oh, okay. So humanity screwed up the surface, retreated underground, and then. Alright, l well, now I'm starting to get into the fuzzy part. So, why, why engineering the decoys? Are they trying to see if they can survive on the surface? I guess. That... I suppose that would be the only thing that makes sense to try and reclaim the surface somehow? Ah. Okay. That's exactly what happened. So it's like Fallout, kind of. It's like a mix of Fallout and. It's like humans are the new Quarians, except for they didn't figure out how to make, um. suits. I know that's not the same game, but still. No, I guess that was pretty on the nose. What is it? Take good care of her. I also have a request. I'd like to take number 63 with us. Then what have I been talking to? Disposed of? There's no way. You see. Oh. This is no time to joke. As if I'd believe that. What? 
それと地上までの道のり途中にいくつかこちらからのセキュリティでは開けられない場所があるその時は3510に持たせたマスターキーを使用してくれ A hair ornament. 君の正門を登録しておいたその鍵を持って君が声を出せばどの扉も開くだろう、yep. はいこれ博士から預かった Mikoto offers me a round object that looks like a bracelet. This is a key? Let's go, Mikoto. You mean that literally, like it was your own daughter that you experimented with, or are we just going to not ever figure out all? How long have I been standing here? I'm a literal bonehead. Father part was pretty literal. 
我らが肉体強化の研究のために作られたデコイ全てはアイスマンを素体として作られている特に63号は複製体だ彼に一番近い存在と言えるだろういわばデコイの全ては彼の娘であり、oh, 息子であり、wow. OK So that would explain why she, why Kamu, or Mutsumi, so closely related to the progenitor, so Iceman is the progenitor. That, okay. That's terrible. Jeez. Jeez. Well, good news, you may have gotten to. Do you mean on the soca? Mikoto. Mutsumi, I am in suspense. We are stuck in a state of suspense. It's better than being stuck in a state of suspension, like we almost were if we didn't escape. Yeah, so, this really is like an underground vault. How big is it? Hmm. Something's coming. Kamu. No. Mutsumi. Hakuoro san? Yapari. Kite shimatta no. Come back with us. Everyone's waiting. Dame. Then I'll have to release you from your bonds. Dou shite mo to yu no nara. Oh, right. Those two. Um... From this place or from existence?
Good twist. Oh. Okay, not so much of a twist. Alright, we'll just destroy each other. That works. I can't do that. I believe there's something you should be asking us. There has to be something. Ah, that struck a nerve. Okay, I take it back. You're not a sociopath, you're just a straight up psychopath. Great. <laughs> Oh, so we are fighting now. Yeah. Demander of power. I was wondering when this was going to happen. Well, I could do that. Why not? Okay, that played out very differently in the actual fight. <laughs> Did you merge with the Abu Kamu? Oh, that's new. Okay. Seem like you're struggling a little. I think the uh 
the mental break has finally really set in. Don't keep walking backwards, you're going to fall down that cliff. He's lost it. Okay, so he knows what's happening, but can you enlighten us as to what's going on? I'm going to say that's a yes. At this point, I would be shocked if he doesn't fall down that chasm. Oh. If you weren't such a monster, I would feel bad for you. But I really don't. Wasn't Hao and Kua on your side? What?男が死ぬべき時に死なのは恥さらしなだけ。その時を謝るほど悲しい言葉はありません。何より変わり果てる姿を見るのは忍びない。I see. Is that the power of the mask? Ah. Why did you desire power so badly? There's no way you weren't aware of the consequences. Fair. Oh. Okay, I 
thought that was going to be the end of it, but... Guess not. Round two. Oh, now I can see his defense and magic defense. So I guess if I had attacked him first, it would have had no impact. Move out of the way. Don't you understand that we cannot just give up? We'll force our way through. I won't let you say otherwise. And so we did. It's over. <laughs> Sorry. But let us pass. Mate. Give up. Any more and you'll end up like Hauenkua. Oh, well. But I imagine she won't. This is not good. What? Is that... Do you intend to obliterate us all? Going to go with yes. ヤクソクを破るということは自分を侮辱するということ。自分の名はヒエン。完全自慢の血を引く者の負。それだけは。それだけはさせない。It's pretty good. It seems pretty good to me.
Ah. Okay, now they drop the sword. I was expecting that to happen in the previous fight. That was intense. All the entries seem angry. Gee, I can't imagine why. どうした押し付け。怯えているのです。この気配に。気配もう少し前に出てみればわかります。うです。なんだ。このぬるっとした気味悪い感じは。This looks like a spot for a final boss fight. 正気と呼ばれるものです。皆さん、気をしっかりと持つようにしてください。でないと、この正気に体をむしばまれてしまいますから。さすが温神屋向井。禍々しさこの上ありませんわ。ちょっと待て。どういう意味だ。もっとも神
Well, my purpose for coming here was to get take you back home. Mate! Kso! Mataka! Anja! Kite mo ika! Anja to yatsua! Donna kanke ga arunda! Itai anja wa! Nani mono nanda! Oboro! Wakate iru! Wakate wa iru ga! You will understand soon. Anja! まさか。記憶が。引き返しましょう。は引き返しましょう。今すぐに。ヘルル殿、ここまで来て何を言っているのですかでも。ヘルル、I'm… ダメ。ダメです。カメちゃんのことでしたら私が行きます。私一人で行きますから。だから白黒さんはここから引き返してください。ちょ、あのさ、何言ってるんですかい。白黒さんは白黒さんはこの先行っちゃダメなんです。だ
Thou art trying to stop me. Again. My purpose? お父様たちがもう一度顔を合わせてしまったら互いに自分を抑えきれない。自分で自分が許せない。自己憎悪。だから殺し合う。死ねないのに相手が死ぬまで殺し合う。ずっとずっと。そして。お父様たちはまた私のことを忘れてしまう。私がどんなに胸焦がれてもあの子のことは忘れないのに。そんなの嫌。だからもう行くななんて言わない。もう一人のお父様にもここでお休みしてもらうから。Great Seal Part 1. Have to beat Utsumi in beast mode. Ooh. Okay, that didn't hurt too badly. Please, withdraw. I was about to say, yeah, that kind of was the whole point. I have not forgotten, but I must settle matters with him in order to do so. Wrong. I am. I am. Mutsumi. Okay. Showdown. He was it? No. Who lurks hiding in thy body? What? That thou art I? 
Thou speakest nonsense. Interesting. I think you can get away. in here. That's what happened to D. Okay. Well, I know this is a very weird place to stop this episode, but I've actually been recording a lot longer than I had intended to, and it's clear that there are about to be some very dramatic reveals coming up soon. I actually intended to stop in the last fight, but there wasn't an option to save, unlike almost every other subfight found out a lot of really fascinating stuff, and now we're getting the backstory of how Hakulo came to be. But yeah, I hate to leave it in such suspense. Huh, we're on a cliff, and it's a cliffhanger. I'm sorry, I'll see myself out. Anyway, well thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one for the epic finale. For now, I am one half of the Bridge Boys, signing off.